vegetation all the way up to that creek bed whenever it rains, okay? All I used was my rake attachment, all right? There's a pile of brush right there. And there's a pile of brush right there, all right? I did not move this Q5. Everything looked like that in this area. I didn't, I guess there's another pile of brush right there. I didn't do too much in this area right here. All right, it all looked like this behind this tree. That's what, it's, that's what this area looked like. Okay. I just pulled my rake around here, forward, backward, pushed, pulled. All the vegetation got pushed in these piles. I'm left with nice, smooth dirt in that rear property back there. And this is just me playing around with it. I didn't even move these cars. I've been grading for 30 or 45 some odd years. My, my $16,000 scarifier, my, my blade box, my four in one bucket, my, my, my tooth bucket, my, my, my this and that, my such and such. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Naptown Tuner here. Let me show you something that you've never seen before. Never in your life. Yeah, I've already heard the naysayers, the haters. Yeah, yeah, they're haters because they didn't think of this idea first. What do I have? I have the first ever in the world quick attach rake for your skid loader. Take a look at it. What I made here is a quick attach rake assembly. What you use is your chain binder. You put on chain straps and D-rings to this rake, okay? The key to this rake are the 45 degree back cut teeth, all right? And this angle iron is designed to hold dirt as you're pulling and then break up the dirt and fall, fall through the teeth, okay? And then as you're, you are able to push it since the teeth are angled backward, and then you're pushing like a small mini dozer and you're filling the holes. So not only that, as you're pushing and as you're pulling, you're clearing the vegetation and you're loosening all the dirt from the vegetation. So you're left with clean vegetation piles and clean dirt, okay? With a simple rake that you can simply slide onto your forks and ratchet on in mere seconds with things that you already have on your truck, okay? You're already gonna carry your forks with you. This rake, you know how much room this takes up on your truck, all right? Nothing, you can, you can put this anywhere, all right? Look, Neptown Tuna here. Some stuff I can't give you. Some stuff is still top secret, but this, I'm giving the world to this. This is my gift to you, world, all right? All you skid steer operators, all right? This is a free gift to all you handy craftsmen out there, all right? Maybe I can make some of these and sling them on the side. We'll see. But this tool is way, way better than you even think you'll see in the future. So this right here was my first design, all right? I already had this. Someone else... Had, had made this and uh, this piece right here and I welded the rest of it on. I tried sliding the forks through, I tried bolting, uh, bolting the forks on. All right, so the design I have now is my second design. All right, these teeth were at much less of an angle. This is a much better rake, but what I have now is a very versatile tool. It's, it's uh, not only a rake, but it does all, all the above. And here at the end, what I'll show you is a little bit of the bonus footage of the first design of what I made. It was just the rough thrown together idea before I purified it. Thanks for watching, Naptown Tuner. Okay, this is what I already had available. All right, imagine this 
you have a couple blocks. You can put this a little bit further back. You have a couple blocks on either side and uh, you can just zip this into place. It might only take uh, half a minute. All right, and you can spin this around and have the tines go the in, inside if you want. But this back drags in float position and it pulls the sticks and it conditions the soil as you drag it back, okay? Okay guys, I need some help. Who would use this attachment? conditions the soil that rake this stuff is uh, ready for seed after it's spread like that 